What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video here. Uh, this is actually a channel update. Forgive me if it's really bright guys. The At this time of day if the sun shines in really brightly that's what happens with my uh, little webcam. But regardless guys this is a channel update which is something I haven't done in a long time and uh, I know I won't get that many views or whatever but I hope those of you who do care uh, appreciate it. Just some little information. I just want to say first of all Thank you guys so much. I'm I'm almost at uh, 16,000 subscribers and that's just so cool. It really means a lot to me. I don't take it for granted and um, you know there are many people who are so complimentary and they say that I, I deserve more and so on. Although on the other on the other end of the spectrum there are you know people who hate me and want to kill me and literally you know have see me unemployed and, and burn down my life because you know they're morally superior obviously you know there's no more to it than that um but yeah i've been flexing my muscle a little bit guys my creativity muscle in regards to my time lapse and so on I'm trying to do my best i have you know no editing skills apart from what i sort of built from the ground up and uh, for the same reason trying out different uh sort of uh formats of videos and seeing what it involves to look at my own footage back and do voiceovers and things like that and um, a lot of that is so that I can ultimately I'm capable of doing what I, I you know if I envision something that I'm capable of making that manifest instead of being helpless or expecting somebody else to do it um, but there's a few things I wanted to talk about and one is the fact that uh, I've had a little bit of a lull I just realized that this is in windows mode my scene uh but you'll you'll forgive me for that right guys uh we'll just roll with it uh the next series that i was thinking about guys was actually playing ado and trying to do a is that how you say the name ando and trying to do a uh one culture with them which would be extremely difficult i'm not actually sure that i'd be capable of it but i was waiting for the next patch patch to come out a lot of people talking about how they would like me to play uh in the british isles um, although I could do that guys, I don't really know what I would do. I would like a pretty uh, nice idea of what I would actually do. And I feel like um, before I get the Three Mountains achievement, uh, this is kind of a, a similar theater at least. And a lot of people have requested that I play Asia. And I don't know man, it's not the, it's not the empire in which the sun never sets or something. But it is the Japanese Empire. It's pretty cool in its own way. Although, what it would actually entail, guys. Uh, let's go over it really quickly here. This this nation actually has 15% reduced culture cost, which is pretty nice. And that's exactly what we're going for, is the one culture. It would be an extremely hard achievement. Um, but the idea is you take religious ideas, which give you 25% reduced culture conversion. Uh, as well as influence ideas. And then you can take a policy for 20% reduction. That's 45% reduction. Combined with the 15% makes it 60% reduction. Um, I think that's it on top of the uh, Enlightenment, which is also, how much is the Enlightenment? 25%, I think. So that's a grand total of 85% reduction of a cultural conversion cost. Now, a lot of people might think, wow, that's crazy. Well, yeah, but if you think about it in context of your own games, or for example, my Roman Empire game, Think about how much of the world we converted. Uh, because one way we have to look at it is we would have to convert what's remaining 15%. 15% of the development of the world is how much it would cost us to convert. Now in my Byzantium game we had the 25% reduction from religious and in the late game 20% or 25% from enlightenment. And think about how little of the world in terms of development we converted. Not uh, 15%, I'll show you that much. Uh, so it is extremely challenging, especially because it is such a small nation. This nation does have two provinces, but it may as well be a one province minor with nine development, right? Two low development provinces. Um, so it'd be extremely challenging. I'll quickly run over my sort of tactic. Uh, my tactic would be to uh, take colonial ideas and uh, obviously unify Japan as, m as fast as possible and probably spread through these horde territories and perhaps uh i could uh, bridge to uzbek via colonies or not either way i would want to 
rush to Europe as fast as possible and actually flip to the state religion of the empire. That would be my goal. The only thing I would have to do is move my capital inside of the empire. And uh, really interesting with the dynamic of Japan is that uh, you have daimyos and shogunates. And uh, the shogunate actually has, you can take a, a plus three diplo reputation. So that would really help me if I get shogunate government type, get that uh, emperorship and also with combined with influence ideas, be able to pass those reforms. So the plan would be to rush out to Europe, form, uh, become the emperor, add as much land as possible to the empire to pass those, uh, what are they called? I can't think of the word right now. As fast as possible, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, the reforms. And um, until we revoke, and obviously I'd be doing other things in the meantime, but then I would try to feed because we can integrate them freely, the uh, subjects who have religious ideas. So I would try to um, one tag the entire world, or not one tag, but divide it between myself and them in order to allow them to convert the world to all to one religion. And we have to then integrate it by forming the empire, resulting in a one tag. Uh, the good news is, guys, that I will spend most of the series playing as Ando. And uh, after forming the Empire, we should be able to form Japan again afterwards because we will be Japanese culture. Uh, so we'll briefly be the Empire and then we should be able to be Japan and actually own the entire world. So that's kind of the concept, guys. We'd have to essentially one face the world, although we can do some funny business like, for example... I could uh, convert Europe and then switch to Confucian to convert China to our culture, that kind of thing. But there'd definitely be some funny business, uh, uh, potentially. But uh, we essentially have to one tag and one faith the world quick enough to where there is no separatism in any province and, the, and we can convert it before the end of the game. Extremely difficult and challenging. A lot of people have requested that I play in Asia and some people have requested that I do something that... I'm going to fail that. So maybe that's the one. Uh, either way, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I wanted to talk about the fact that I am working on something else as well. Another video. As well as uh, finishing off this series here. I ha have actually had construction around me in real life, which makes it difficult to work around. But uh, it's fortunate that um, it's kind of an appropriate time to chill a little bit, waiting for the next patch to come out. Uh, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting back sinking my teeth into the next patch and, and doing, you know, amping up the content a little bit. But I am working on a video that uh, I, I really hope you guys enjoy. And either way, thank you very much for watching, guys. I just thought I'd update you a little bit and uh, see you in another video.